Warning, this podcast, website, and associated social media accounts are intended for audiences of legal drinking age. We do not advocate overconsumption or the abuse of alcohol. Never drink and drive, drink responsibly. And please remember to always take what we say with a grain of salt. After all, we are just some dudes with some brews. So, uh, what, what do you got for us today, man? Okay. So, what we got here is from Great Divide uh, Brewery in Denver, Colorado, which I know you visited. I didn't visit, but I did drink some of their beer that you got from there, and it was mighty fine. We actually had, they are the ones that have the Yeti. Yeah, yes, they are. Yep. So, we did the showdown. Uh, but this one is called the Car Camper Hazy Pale Ale. Let's check it out. Have you ever heard of a hazy pale ale before? Um, no, but I have been watching some brew or some beer reviews lately, just because it's mindless and it, I enjoy beer. Um, and they drank some sort of a hazy IPA and it had little floaties in it. Yeah. So I wonder if it's like an unfiltered. If that's what hazy a hazy is, is unfiltered. You know what I say about it, Cody floaties. Yeah, them Cody floaties. Them Cody floaties, man. That's what they need to say on there. Oh, this is really highly carbonated. It is, especially for something that's hazy. I imagine it being like uh, where you see the haze, right. but you can't see through all the bubbles. I'm not mad at that, though. I mean, I'm not either. I'm just, it is odd because I was expecting, I wasn't expecting it to look like a soda as mm. far as the carbonation goes. It's got a good color to it. It is really hazy. You can see through it a little bit, but it is does look like it's that dirty haze that it has. I don't know. I, Dirty makes it sound like it's not going to taste good, but... (laughs) Dirty haze. Well, it's just like the clarity's not there. Dirty haze sounds like some sort of, like, I don't know, some kind of drug. Like, go get some of that dirty haze. It doesn't kind of sound like a a, a drug. I was thinking a song. Sound like some pot. You go get some dirty haze. Yeah. (laughs) Or, yeah, a song. There you go. Like a song from one of those old rockers. But, But I'm saying that because it's like purple haze. Yeah, I'm not Dirty even thinking Dirty Haze. I'm thinking like it's a song by, and maybe this is why I'm thinking of Pot, uh, like Willie Nelson's song, Dirty Haze. Oh, okay. I got you. Back in my day, we'd listen to Willie Nelson's Dirty Haze. Gosh. I could see that. Dude, this is good. It's got, it's I'm pretty hot it. forward. Yeah. Man, this one's good. It tastes like... A light IPA, and I like it. Do you know what it's reminding me of? Uh, remember when we had that pineapple mimosa? Yeah. And we were saying, I wonder what this would taste like without the pineapples. This is what it it's kind of like. tasting like that flavor. Uh, it's got that pale ale taste. So let me read what this says what here on Untapped. It says, Car Camper is the beer to fuel your next adventure. Oh, pardon me. Generously hopped and dry hopped with uh, Sabro. Sabro hops. The aroma hints at cantaloupe, mango, and coconut and finishes evenly with a pleasant mouthfeel. Surrender to your wonderlust and be sure to pack plenty of car camper. So, I, you know, I like this one a lot. I really like... Uh, all the hipsters are going to hate me saying this, but oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I like an American pale ale better than... An Indian pale ale. I am with you all the way, dude. I'm 100%. I've been that way for a few years now. Pale ale. I like IPAs, but I love a pale ale. Yeah, I feel like it's just more Mm well-balanced. It doesn't overdo it with the hops. Hey, this one's good. Yep. Appearance. So, color. It's got a nice yellow color to it. It's kind of... It's clear... Or it's it's uh, you can get a lot of light through it, but it's not clear. It is the clarity is not quite there, which is intentional with the hazy. Right. What kind of aroma do you get? We're gonna have to go through these steps step, step by step from now on. I'm getting a little bit of fruit, but I'm getting a little bit of floral too. Um, and then flavor. Yeah. So if we were like riding that line of fruit and floral. 
be like a dried fruit or a sweet blossom. I think it's going to be more of like a dried fruit, an artificial fruit. Yeah. And yeah. And this also says to do flavor and mouthfeel. So flavor, it's bitter, obviously, because of the hops. I do get a, I don't get any tropical notes. I can see where they, where they're saying mango a little bit, but I think I'm stretching. Yeah. But if we were going to say like, is it sweet, salty, sour, bitter, or savory? I think it's like bittersweet. Bittersweet. But yep. leaning yeah, yeah, towards the sweet. You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's very right. sweet beer. Um, and then um, alcohol content. What do you think the alcohol is on this one? It's right at 5%. Which, is it? Is it at 5%? Yes. I was thinking more like 6 Which I mean, which makes sense, which is why it's such like a drinkable sweet beer. Right. It's not too... It, it, I feel like it would be more bitter if it was a stronger APV. So well, uh, look, on a scale of 1 to 5... We still got the color, though. I think it would be cool if we could like put up the chart and just tell people what color this, it is. This, I would say, is like a 3. Yeah. It's a 3 or a 2 for sure. Yeah, 2 to Very three. light beer. Which is Light which is odd appearance. for a, <laughs> I say that and we've had a lot of IPAs that are this color. I think an it's IPA is more like ones. an amber color. Yeah, but this is what we've had as IPAs. Like if I think about the Deep Elm IPA, it's an eight or a nine. Right, when that's exactly what I was thinking. Chart. More amber. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I like this. We're gonna have to use this every time from from now on. I, can get I like this. That. So, um, again, what, what do you got from a scale of one to five? I'm thinking like a four. I'm going to give it a four, too. Four, all right. Appreciate this beer. Look, I already almost drank it just judging Dang. it. Yeah, that was good. That's the way to do it, man. This, this, this one's good. Hey, everybody. Mate, make sure to go online and follow us at underscore dudes and brews. You can find us on Instagram and untapped. Make sure to follow us there. But we're out. Peace.